uh, to the board and we offer an extensive set of software routines and user interfaces by which you can control the chip. So you'll see a demo of this outside the hall um, that you can literally connect our transceiver to a laptop, run our program, and on that basis you would be running any standard you wish. There are a lot of predetermined uh, parameters that you can set inside the chip in terms of frequency of operation, in terms of the standard, the standard that you want to select, and as a result, you will have a very easy mechanism by which to develop your, your products. So, all of that leads up to a highly flexible configuration whereby you can combine an FPGA which operates in digital domain together with Lime transceiver and universal communication kit which can go across any frequency and any standard you wish. So essentially, you will have a platform that can be programmed to do anything you want. Not only that, you would be able to develop new standards and new techniques for modulation, as an example, for next generation of wireless access technologies. But what is important is the chip is highly integrated, it's low cost in volume, and as a result, anything you develop here could be taken across into a final product, which can then be used in different standards and different bands. So just to highlight this, if you were to do this using existing technologies, to do 2G, 3G, and LTE, you would essentially need 12 different trans transceivers, whereas today you only have one. So essentially 12 devices have been replaced by one small chip that can be switched into different bands and different frequencies. And instantly in standards. <clears throat> so what is the other advantage that this platform will bring to you? FPGAs, and that's why we are partnering with these guys, have a lot of IPs that could go into their baseband solution or digital solution. If you are developing LTE, they have turbo decoders and encoders, for example, that can be programmed in this FPGA. And the same signals can then be passed through our product, and you would be able to communicate via LTE using this type of platform here. <clears throat> you could have things like digital up-down converter. You could have a crest factor reduction type of algorithms for improving performance. You could even implement digital predistortion in your digital baseband improving the power amplifier linearity. And all those functions are already available through FPGA. So the combination of FPGA, which is highly programmable, and a transceiver IC of the kind that we have developed makes sense. It will speed up the development time, and it will, it will enable new generation of wireless technologies to take off quickly. So to highlight this, what we usually measure the success of any semiconductor product is by its price, performance, and power, which we believe an FPGA model across together with a transceiver solution of the kind that I described achieves all of these factors. The important aspect in all this is to increase participation, to get the platform used as widely as possible out there by as many developers as possible. And hence, we have come up with this universal communication toolkit alongside FPGAs to increase that participation. And one of the ways that this can be done is through partnerships, which today has resulted in us 
delivering some 255 boards. That is the universal communication kit that I showed you before to some 130 customers around the world. This is essentially starting from January 2010 all the way up to, t up to today. And this is very significant. In this industry where uh, the number of users are, or developers are relatively small, 130 customers over such a short period of time is huge. And that demonstrates that the industry is really looking forward to these type of solutions coming into the market, hence being able to develop new technologies. Our idea with linkage with FPGA is to increase these 130 customers to about 1,000 by this time next year. So the way we think we can do it is by supplying our transceiver in a very low cost format in the open source uh, way. I don't know how familiar you are with open source, but essentially on this website, you will get all the information there is for this chip in terms of data sheets, in terms of application nodes, and also we supply the complete database for this board that we've actually supplied here. There is also a very efficient mechanism by which we supply these boards in Taiwan and China. For that example, ASIO is responsible to do that, and you would be able to easily obtain this type of platform from them. Or if you wish, you can download the database and design your own. And that will enable you to develop your product much faster adopt the technology much fa faster because we give you the starting point uh, from, from the outset. And again, this platform is wide open. It can go to any frequency. And as a result, all these standards is already covered by such a simple design. Again, if you were to use the existing technology to do the same, you would have had to have 12 boards sitting all alongside each other whereas you just have one product here. So really, it is important to note that with access to such capability, you don't even have to design this. You would take this board as it is and plug it into your system. All you need to do is to have the right interface to connect to it. As an example, we have designed an interface board that connects to Altera, supplied by a company here in uh, Taiwan called Teresic. And it is important to note that this is a very low cost flat platform. With sub $500, you would have a transceiver, an FPGA working together, which can be connected up to your laptop or your computer. And essentially, you could set up a base station using this. You could set up any standard, any air interface by using such a simple and low-cost platform. What would have costed over $10,000 a year ago to be able to make, we can do it with sub $500 today, just because you have FPGAs and flexible transceiver solution in one chip. And that's a significant shift in the whole industry. Uh, if you wanted to do this before, you either use discrete or many of these tra transceivers stacked up together. And again, <clears throat> this platform is currently available and you would be able to obtain it. In fact, we can do a demo of, of this outside uh, if you wish to see it. Uh, our guys are showing it out there. It's working and it's operational. More importantly, <clears throat> uh, we are also doing the same uh, with Xilinx boards. Again, there is quite a good selection of FPGA boards from Xilinx. And there is a partner of ours here in uh, Taiwan called E-Elements, 
who are designing boards to connect our transceiver to all these Xilinx boards that are available. So if you are using any kind of FPGA, it being Altera or Xilinx, our board will connect to it. And this platform is not yet available.